Hello, my name is Jason Miller. I am a ServiceNow consultant for the Walt Disney Company. I currently help them and their suppliers develop uh, SLAs, uh, both contractual and non-contractual. And um, what I want to show you today is how you can develop an SLA definition based on a service catalog variable uh, that is on the requested item. So one thing to note is that when you're creating a requested item, um, you're going to create all these different variables, and variables are different than fields. Um, so one thing that you'll have to watch out for is when you're promoting this up the stack, um, that the variables actually carry with the item. Um, so I've seen it a couple times where you know, people pr uh, build the, the item in uh, dev, and then for some reason, I guess it's just because they have the variables in different update sets. Sometimes it gets caught up in global. Um, the SLA definition um, will be blank when it moves to the next instance. And they'll say, well, you know, what happened to those variables? Um, I can't find them now, so it must not be able to fire off of that. So I've already uh, created one before, and I have it baked in the oven. And here's the item that it fired. So uh, it's named a task. Um, SLA, excuse me, an SLA named uh, variable SLA, and we're, we're going to create one just like it, so I'll show you how to do that. And then he here's the, uh, the definition. So I use this paper and supplies um, out of the box item, and this is an Istanbul instance. Um, the reason I created this video was because someone had posted up there that you have to be on Jakarta in order to fire off uh, the variables, and I thought, you know, that is just categorically wrong. So I wanted to go ahead and clarify that right now. So we'll go ahead and uh, create an SLA. Um, so we want to go to uh, contract underscore SLA. And if you're going to go to actually create, if you want to go to the form and create one, type dot do. Sometimes you do dot list to go to list, but we're going to go to dot do. And this will bring up our new SLA definition form. And then we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, paper. Paper variable. Let's see here, paper variable. We have to make sure that we change this to SC rec item as our table uh, for our duration. I'm just going to put in one day, and we're going to need a schedule to run against. And that's another reason why sometimes um, people will say, you know, the, the calculation is off. Well, you have to check your schedule to make sure that um, you know the, the SLA is uh, sometimes um, the business duration or time will be off from the actual, and that's because um, it's only going to run during the schedule, even though it will attach. So I'm just going to put this against um, the server schedule, which I believe is 24/7. I want to say, and up here we have this business rule running, which will tell us. Um, that you know, SLA starting now, um, the last time 24 days, uh, 19 minutes. So we have that in place. And now for our start condition, uh, let's see, we're going to find our item is paper and supplies. And always try to use is and starts with. Um, definitely do not use like. Um, uh, if you can help it, try not to use contains or ends with because uh, that will impact um, the processing time and also the impact on the speed of your instance. Um, so right now uh, we want to do the variables. So type in var. Oh, not showing up. Now why? Because we don't have our related fields showing. So now we have to click on show related fields. Now we're going to go back to this is where we do the dot walk the variables. Now we're going to find our item again, which is paper, and auto populates here. And now we're going to find, uh, let's see here, what kind of variables do we have? I'm going to go with a box of pens. And I'm going to say, I think on the other one I did three. So on this one I'm going to do five. So if we select five, um, then this thing should trigger. Uh, no retroactive start, when to cancel. Well, I'm not going to specify any cancel conditions. And then I'm going to put a very simple stop condition. I'm just going to do state is close complete. We'll click save. 
And one thing you'll notice is that our paper variable titles right there. That way we know it was saved. So if we were going to do another one and we wanted to, like, let's say you get a batch of four of these and you wanted to do like a different priority or something like that. Uh, let's see if we have priority here that we could. Yeah, like let's say we had priorities one through four and now we want to specify in another one that uh, we want to have a separate one for critical priorities. We would change that to critical. Let's say on this one it's one hour. Um, then we had, you know, we're, we're going to keep the server schedule great. Then we'll do insert and stay. And that way it'll create it. And one thing you'll notice is here, papal variable will change to papal variable critical. So now I'm going to go to service catalog. I guess we'll go to blank instance. So what I'll do is I'll go over to developer. Let's click on the link there. And you'll notice here we'll see the built as Istanbul. So verification of my statement that we are using it. And the E space catalog. Why do E space catalog? Because we have so many. <laughs> Uh, titles or and modules, applications, etc. that start with service. So I'm just going to do e-catalog and lo and behold this pops up right here. And you can do different things with the filters like that. Like with that, like if you can't remember that contract underscore um, SLA dot list dot do, I mean you could just do law def. And SLA definitions will come up. So now uh, we're going to search on our paper and supplies. So I'll just type in paper. And I believe we said a box of 10, but we want five of those. So I'm going to click order now. Okay, we have a confirmation screen. Now, if we click on this uh, description here, it'll bring us to our requested item or RITM or RITM, however your organization refers to this. At the bottom, I've added the task SLA list, and sure enough, we have our paper variable SLA definition. It's in progress, and uh, it's rocking and rolling here. And uh, you might not have this task SLA out of the box. Um, I did cover that in another segment, but just to refresh our memory, we just go to configure and list layout. Let's try that again. Configure. We can do it from the screen. Is it not typing? There we go. Configure related lists. And we see that our task SLA, um, the little arrow, the task is there. So I'll just cancel out of here. And that concludes the segment for today. Um, please uh, like my segment or uh, give me some feedback or maybe you have a question about some of the, uh, the contents um, that um, is either on the community that you've like illustrated here or you just have a general question and I'll be more than happy to go ahead and, uh, and develop some content. All right, thank you and have a great day.